Hi, Sagittarius. It's Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay. So we have the Empress, we have the Lovers, Major Arcana, Major Arcana here, and we have the Knight of Swords. So the Empress, a beautiful card, a uh, loving energy coming forth on Saturday, which is uh, the Empress is about um, sowing the seeds of inspiration and of fertility and uh, a wonderful feminine energy and she is loving and caring and able to uh, enjoy the abundance of earth and what beautiful things that earth has to offer to us and so just from a practical perspective of seeing the Empress maybe Saturday's a day to connect with nature to go outside to go for a walk to uh, take time, you know, just hanging out in your backyard or in a garden. She also uh, represents the, uh, the inspiration for ideas and of being creative and, uh, you know, taking, again, it's giving birth to an idea. You could be there could be some of you who are going to actually give birth or think about it and then there are others who are hoping and thinking about things that they'd like to do in the future. So take the steps necessary and whether that's a hobby, whether it's a different um, part of your career, maybe it's a relationship. You know, the Empress is about um, uh, inspiration, taking care of those around you and yourself with a very compassionate and loving energy. She brings forth all of these lovely, delicious qualities uh, to any reading. So then we have the lovers and again with the Empress, maybe this is creating and planting the seeds for a very deep and long term possible relationship. With the lovers, there's a emotional and spiritual connection between two people. And there's passion, there's excitement, all of the wonderful qualities that we have in relationships. And uh, often with the lovers, there's a sense of a decision having to be made. Like, is this the, is this the one? Are we going to move forward together? Or maybe we're just going to keep seeing each other and see how it evolves. Or maybe you're thinking, yes, we're clicking, but we're not quite clicking the way that I had hoped we would. So with the lovers, it's the potential of a deep and satisfying and joyful relationship that fires successfully on all cylinders. Um, so long as your decision is, is moving forward. Um, so let me just think, I was just thinking something when I was looking at the bunnies here and I lost my train of thought, but it is a sense of, of uh, two people finding each other. Sometimes it can relate to very close, close relationships that are platonic business relationships because it really is that emotional connection with someone else that has um, that can have a transformative ex uh, change in your life a transformative experience so we have the knight of swords and he is just rushing right in rushing right in and maybe this is something that's happening is that you want to dive right in this Knight of Swords is someone who's very smart, logic-based, um, reasonable, and looking through things uh, through an analytical scope. 
he is also can be impulsive and you can see he's kind of just um, at full throttle moving in and with the gray in the background you know with swords sometimes we're it's about adversity or things happening that we have to trudge through or handle and so this knight of swords is looks like he's charging right into the direction of the lovers and so whether you are uh, doing something impulsively you know I, I, it's if that works for you then that's great spontaneous is also a good word but this is a sense of uh, you know you have you're just ready for ready to jump in for the adventure and maybe that's the message here is if you're single or if you're seeing someone you know maybe you're hoping to create that uh, significant relationship and it takes time it takes patience it takes strong communication and this night brings strong communication to a situation and uh, it can feel like an adventure relationships and the ups and downs of relationships and sometimes you may not know in what direction it's headed and there are surprises so uh, this is a lovely spread for Saturday and again if you're in a relationship if you're married there's always the hope of rekindling and of exploring uh, new things with your partner to get that sense of freshness and to uh, again rekindle desire rekindle interest if so if that is needed you know if that's necessary so let's take a look at the numbers we have three and six is nine and nine and one is ten ten reduces to one one is about originality it's about new beginnings inspiration also leadership and I think the the night also has some elements and indications of leadership as well so I'd like to uh, close the reading with an oracle card and these actually were a gift from someone that I work with who happened to get them and said she had no use for them so she passed them on to me they're energy oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor so let's go ahead and see what other uh, messages we can gather for Saturday adjacent possibilities <laughs> okay adjacent possibilities the possibilities next door and maybe this is a simple message of being aware and being open and that sometimes our searches for whatever we're looking for if we're searching for spirituality if we're searching for friendship relationships careers that it's could be within closeness to us close proximity adjacent possibilities and so we have the door here looks like it was you know all these doors are open it reminds me of the seven of cups you know many options and it's a matter of what door you walk through and hopefully we always walk through the door that's going to lead to a positive growth pattern for us or a positive growth experience something that brings us happiness and joy and fulfillment so uh, within our lives many doors open and uh, it's up to you to walk through the door and to uh, to go forth as the Empress would say go forth and create plant your seeds be inspired do the things that bring you comfort and happiness and joy so I hope that you have a great Saturday and uh, hope it's enjoyable and fun and productive and all of those good things if you enjoyed this reading please like 
share or comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, it's a great way to stay connected and I appreciate every one of you who takes the time to watch my readings. Thank you so much and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.